Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a terrific day today. World Gold Council uh, yesterday echoed one of our critical sentiments in the gold area. Uh, gold miners are producing as much gold as they can, subject to their power disruptions and their strikes and threats of nationalization and all that sort of thing. Um, and supply is declining. So supply is declining, demand is increasing. What does that mean? The price of gold is going to go up. Now, another factor in gold, of course, is the legendary fear trade. Uh, the Iranians are nuts. The Iranians are nuts. We've been talking about the Iranians for a while because about a year ago, we learned that the Iranians were very active in Mexican gangs. Mexican gangs, of course, are very active in the United States. And it was very interesting to us that uh, we had intelligence reports reflecting deep activity uh, uh, in, by Iran. Now, they have, are operating training bases in Venezuela with the approval of Hugo Chavez. Uh, and so they have been projecting force throughout Central, uh, actually Central and South America, and by coming into North America through the Mexican gangs, have long demonstrated their ability to create networks that can do damage. So we are not, I was not surprised, uh, horrified of course, but not surprised when the uh, Iranians began to project force by killing and attempting to kill uh, uh, Israeli diplomats and, and other uh, respectable world citizens. It, it is important to remember that the Iranians really are nuts. They're off on their own thing. Uh, I don't know how you else why you would describe the behavior of a tin horn navy that says it's going to close the Straits of Hormuz. I mean, that's going to last about 15 seconds. Uh, so the Iranians are desperately afraid of what the U.S. and Israel uh, are going to do to them, and rightly so, uh, because it is widely recognized that there is instability at the top of the Iranian government, much more so than even in our alleged ally, Pakistan. As you know, I made a sarcastic comment yesterday about, you know, how shocking it was that uh, Pervez Musharraf, the former president, had known where, about, where Osama bin Laden was. Uh, and so when we think about these things, I'm asking you to consider the concept that uh, we are uh, looking at a time of great instability, and that in turn will produce more upside for gold. Gold's trading down a little bit around 1706, 1705, 1707 this morning. Your profits are still well to the good. You're looking at, uh, you know, a whole lot of things going on that are very positive for gold. And the train has not left the station, uh, but it is about to leave the station. And so we encourage you to keep the plus 20%. Plus 10 to plus 20 percent that you added. Keep that on the table. We see gold trading by the summer at 2250. So this is Arnie Waters. I talked about Iran in some ways that are probably inappropriate. Uh, I'm talking about the gold price. Uh, we're going to be watching the U.S. stocks. We are going to change our view on the S&P for this year. Uh, we're going to raise it a little bit. Uh, but part of what we think is going on is this sea change of recognizing. Uh, what's really happening in the world. And what's really happening in the world is a lot of economies are seriously adrift. I'm not even going to talk about the Greek thing um, because we've always said the Greek thing was malarkey. By that I mean that the, the Greeks were never going to do everything everybody wanted them to do. And now the Germans are actually acting firm. Uh, uh, as you probably are aware by now, uh, because of the Nazi occupation of Greece, there's a tremendous amount of resentment in Greece uh, toward the Germans, and a lot of that is now playing out in the public press and whatnot, which is, uh, I'm sure, not making things any easier for Angela Merkel's government to deliver a bailout uh, through uh, their own political infrastructure. So, this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and have a super day. Thank you.